Introduction. The Scorpion Tail Ritual is a dark and possibly dangerous ritual that is said in some cultures to bring back the dead. Forethought. Please note that this ritual may fail, and if it does, then the revival will be unsuccessful and the ritual must be repeated. Do know that you'll have to do the ritual within a week of the death of the person, and if you dawdle, then you may not have time. Also note that if you live in a certain part of the world, scorpions may be difficult to obtain. There are no exceptions. Also note that the scorpion must be alive or the ritual will not work. Ingredients. One body. The body must not be embalmed. If possible, steal it before burial services are attempted. One large scorpion. The reason that a large scorpion is required is not due to the venom, but due to the singer's function. One bottle of acid, anything with a pH under 3. It should be noted that if the acid is too strong, it may burn through the body or harm you. One alcoholic beverage. This is used to both counteract the acid and as a drink. If you are underage or refuse to drink, then you do not have to drink any. However, you should still bring the beverage. One gallon jug of any flammable liquid. Note that the liquid should not be explosive. If it is, then there is a high chance of your death. The jug may be a simple milk jug or a designated jug for the liquid. The exact amount does not matter, but you should only take one container. Primitive Lighting Method Flint and steel, fire drill, or anything that does not involve an advanced lighting method. Matches are not allowed. One spear. This can be flint, stone, or simply sharpened wood. You must make it yourself. This will not only be for self-defense, but for the ritual. You may not use iron or any metal. Wrapping the spear in a flammable object is allowed, but it may bring more problems than it solves. Optional. Tender. The fire will be hard to light with primitive methods. Black powder, dried leaves, or anything will work. There are no limitations. Be sure to use all of it, and remember that nothing electric can be used. Optional. Torch or lantern. You may use an oil lantern to find your way around in the dark. Electric lanterns or flashlights are not allowed. The oil can also be used as tinder, but the lantern cannot light the fire. Warnings. Anything that runs on electricity is strictly forbidden when doing this ritual. All phones, electronic devices, flashlights, or any other machine will not work. This includes cars. Anything running on that that is inside the one mile radius of the ritual can make the ritual invalid. This means that doing this near a house will likely make the ritual impossible. However, an abandoned farmhouse may be a great place, but it must have zero electronic appliances. Gas may work. However, there have been cases where it does not. This still applies even if the appliances are useless. You may, however, keep a car outside of the radius in case something does go wrong, allowing you instant escape. As many people as you like may watch the ritual. However, only one person may stand inside the ring of the fire and do the ritual. Also, the more people who watch the ritual, the more who may be in danger if it is done incorrectly. All watchers must follow the rules of the ritual, which means no cellular or electronic devices for them either. Extra weapons are not allowed for you or anyone assisting you in the ritual. Only one person may have the spear and nothing else may be used. Makeshift items such as sticks, rocks, or branches that you find within the mile radius may be used in a pinch. Instructions Step 1. Collect body. The body must have died less than a week earlier and cannot be preserved in any way. This excludes time or other materials to reduce the smell. These are allowed. 
The cause of death can be anything, as long as most of the body is intact. A missing limb or two is allowed. The age and gender of the person is not important. Step 2. Find the spot to do the ritual. Remember the limitations before. You may bring the body to the area by car, but the car must be taken at least a mile away afterwards. It would be much easier to simply take the body by a wagon, as these do not break any rules. Step 3. Take all supplies and set them down. Do not light the lantern, if you run one, and take the flammable liquid. Create a circle around yourself and the body. Do not light it yet. Be sure that you have the scorpion in a jar if you can, and the acid in a separate jar. Make sure the spear is nearby, if possible, slung behind your back using a holster. Step 4. Take one sip of the drink. Do not drink much. Toast the drink to the sky. Do not say anything. Smile. It will make him happier. This is optional. If you do not want to drink, skip the step. Step 5. Lay the body count, palms up, and hands rested on the heart in a cup. Release the scorpion into the cupped hands of the body. Then pour the rest of the alcoholic drink into the hands of the body. It does not matter if it spills out, just that most of the drink is pooled. Step 6. If the scorpion has crawled out, reposition it. Then, using your spear, lightly poke an area in the hands of the body. If you do it right, the scorpion will instinctively sting the hand. You must keep doing this until the scorpion stings once. If you must, force the sting using your hands, but be careful. Step 7. Light the fire. This may be a difficult process, made more difficult by the fact that the scorpion cannot move from the cupped hands of the body. If you like, you can do this before you release the scorpion, but it is suggested the other way around. As soon as the fire lights, stand back. Do not allow the fire to touch the body, then it surrounds you completely. Beware of asphyxiation by smoke. Step 8. As soon as the fire has completely surrounded you, immediately pour the acid directly onto the scorpion. This will kill the scorpion and likely counteract the alcohol. Wait. Keep standing. Do not sit. Do not attempt to leave the circle. If you have any friends, this will be the last chance for them to leave until the revival has begun. Step 9. After a few moments, the area that you drop the acid will pull black. At this moment, you must take the spear and stab it into the area the liquid has originated. If you have trouble identifying the origin, stab multiple places. Step 10. As soon as you do this, the corpse will suddenly shake. Pull the spear back. The corpse will begin to rise. As it does, the fire surrounding you will lower. The moment the corpse is on its feet, the fire will die, leaving you in the dark. Escape. As soon as the corpse has risen, it will gain full control over its body. The dead do not like being woken, and they will likely attack. You may attempt to fight it, but the only way to kill the beast is a direct hit onto the area where the poison was placed. The place the scorpion stung. It will continue to bleed black slowly. If you get a direct hit and you penetrate the area, you may be able to kill the beast. However, with such a primitive and flimsy weapon, you will have an extreme difficulty doing this. There are two other ways to escape the dead. The first is to simply leave the mile radius and escape. The body will be able to leave the radius, however, as it is not a barrier for him to do so. It will likely chase you for the rest of your life, until it has ended or you are ended. The second is to hide. The dead fear the light. It is the last they saw when they died. Fire will not likely scare them, however, sunlight may. If you can hide the rest of the night, a good idea would be to do the ritual less than an hour before sunrise. Do remember that if the sun rises at all during the ritual, it will not work. Then you might not be able to scare off the beast. Attacking the monster is not suggested any time unless you can possibly kill the body within a minute of reanimation. 
the longer they are alive, the angrier they get at being alive. The dead are known to be physically weak, but fast and able to regenerate small wounds. If you have any friends who watch the ritual, be sure to account for them the next day. Even though they do not help you bring the body back, the body may still show some rage towards them. Anyone who is not found the next day will likely have been killed. The reanimated are known to show cannibalistic properties, oftentimes violently ripping apart their victims. There are some stories of, although rare, the people killed by the dead being given the same curse and coming back to life themselves. They will assist in the hunt for you. If one of your friends is wounded, but comes back from the ritual, they may be in fact a slave to the body you brought back, and they will attack you in secret. I do not recommend anybody do this ritual in real life. That is just my little disclaimer here. This is all in good fun. Do not take it seriously. Happy Halloween, everyone.